Now that Facebook has moved to the timeline format, there are two key places where you can get to express yourself or create your own brand. The first is your usual profile picture, but the second is the timeline banner, which can be a challenge. A banner can be an ideal place to create your own design. While your profile picture can show off what you look like, your banner can show people who you really are. Creating a banner doesn't have to be intimidating. In this tutorial, I will walk you through some very simple steps to creating your own graphic design using CorelDRAW. To begin with, the Facebook banner dimensions will need to be set as your page size and RGB as the primary color mode when you begin your project. To set up your page, go to File, New, and select Web from the Preset Destination drop-down list. Change your pixel dimensions to 851 by 315 pixels and click OK. To create a border around the page, double click on the rectangle tool and then choose the appropriate thickness that you would like. To easily create an area to compensate for the profile picture overlap, you will need to create guidelines around that can be used to isolate an area that will be hidden once you have uploaded the final image. To do this you will first create a rectangle that is 170 by 105 pixels and place it roughly 23 pixels from the left side of your banner and touching the bottom. Drag a guideline holding down the left mouse button over the ruler on the left side of your screen and onto each of the sides of the rectangle. Drag another guideline down from the top ruler of your screen until it touches the top of the rectangle. Now that the guidelines have been created, you can delete the rectangle from the image and the guidelines will provide the reference as to where the image will be covered up by the profile picture once it's been uploaded. Select the Fill tool from the toolbar and click on Fountain Fill. When the Fountain Fill dialog box opens, you can select which colors you wish to use and the options for the fill. In this example, we will use a radial type fill from blue to pink. Select the text tool and then click on the page to type the name in an artistic text. You can change the size and the font according to your preference. In this example, we will be making a banner for a person named Sophie. Simply highlight the text and then from the interactive toolbar you can change the font. Now all we'll have to do is resize the text so that it fits the banner properly. To add some depth to the text you can create a shadow by selecting the drop shadow tool from the toolbar and then dragging the shadow below the text. Using the Drop Shadow tool is a quick and easy way of making text stand out on a page. You can use Clip Art, Objects, or Photos by going to File and Import to add a touch of originality to your banner. Since Sophie is an avid gymnast, plays the piano, and loves nature, we have incorporated those things into this banner to show off those hobbies and interests to her friends. The butterflies and thistles on the left will serve as a frame for the profile picture once the banner has been uploaded. When the project is complete, go to File, Export, and select a file type compatible with Facebook, such as JPEG. For the best results, make sure that you've selected the highest quality from the options. And click OK. It's just that easy to create a personalized Facebook banner using CorelDRAW.